The National Civil Society Council of Nigeria has cleared the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited and NPCL of corruption allegations. The council investigated various accusations, including missing funds and misappropriation of income from crude sales. However, after thorough research and interactions with both accusers and accused, the NCSCN found no evidence to support these claims. The council's finding revealed that the NNPCL is a distinct entity from its predecessor, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, with different structure, operations and philosophies. The NCSCN also noted that the current administration has implemented reforms, making it difficult for NNPCL to misappropriate funds. That despite the fact that no public institution in Nigeria today can be absol absolutely exonerated or given a 100% clean sheet, clean bill of earth forensically in terms of corruption and bad eggs, Yet, we make bold to assert, without fear of contradiction or condemnation, that almost all the allegations leveled against the management of the NFPC Limited so far are funded and misrepresentations of facts and figure, going by verifiable evidence before the Council. That three, that the Council perceived a deliberate plot in some quarter that are both politically and economically motivated to frustrate the ongoing reform in the petroleum industry in Nigeria and transformation in the NLPC Limited. Some of these distractors are internal force of economic saboteur, while other are high-level international business actors that have either though taken on dual advantage of the country, previous weak law, and naive policies in the petroleum industry. Four, that some mischievous makers, especially within the media sector and civil society community, have taken advantage of the negative past records and maladministration in the default Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation to continuously smear the image and blackmail the current management of the NFPC Limited. The NCSCN suspects a deliberate plot to frustrate the ongoing reforms in the petroleum industry and transformation in the NNPCL. They believe that the same distractors aim to discredit the government and President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. And if you want to look, formerly one of the biggest problems of NNPC has been the opacity operated in the NNPC before Kari came. But you recall, in 20, from 2019 to 2020, for the first time in the history of NNPC, NNPC auditor report was shown to the public. That is out in the media. The media can go and verify that for the first time under Marikari. Subsequently, NNPC has also moved from there from 2020, 2021, to have recorded for the first time in 44 years. After year uh, 2020, for the first time, they registered about 247 billion as profit in the history. It has never been done since the 44 years of its existence. That is still under carry. And subsequently, they have shown 600 and something billion in subsequent year 2021. And now, about 2022, 2023, they registered about almost about uh, 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 something I have here, about 2.52 trillion between 2022 and 2023. And their accounts are, are duly audited. So I think these are the confusions and I know a lot of people want to know what is going on in NNPC because it is the energy company of last resort according to the law. The NCSCN commended the NNPCL management for their efforts to reform and rebrand the organization despite facing conspiracies and blackmail. The council also appealed to civil society actors and the media to maintain professionalism and avoid unnecessary sensationalism.